I'm a... I just pray that I'm not hurting you more by doing this. But I'm desperate. And I don't know what else to try. Fire a second shot, you could have hit my wife. Get the other half of your payment tomorrow. Are you suicidal? Is Corinto so important to you that you risk our baby's life as well as your own? No, I didn't want him to die because he flirted with me. Are you in love with him? No, I am in love with you. My husband, the history professor who refused to go into his family's illegal business. Violent man, Lorenzo. Oh, but Corinthos is. This is the only way to defend us against him. No, you're wrong. I mean, he's not a threat to our happiness, but his murder would shatter our lives. It would always hang over us, over our marriage, over our children, over our future. Please, Lorenzo. Please cancel the hit on Sonny. You didn't show up for work. Hmm. What did you tell her? Oh, I um, pretended the cell phone went out of range and I hung up so I could find you and get an answer. Is that it? No. It has a name. It is out on the street getting away with literal murder when he's not stalking my wife. I forget Sonny. How can I when he always comes between you can us? stop putting him He goes out there. his way to run into you, buy you expensive yeah, presents. so what, And whether you admit it or not, he is making inroads. That is not true. You know, calling off that hit was a mistake. Do you have any idea how insulting it is when you leave me out of the equation? Like it's some sort of spitting contest between you and Sonny and I'm extraneous? As far as I'm concerned, the only thing that should matter is what I want. And that is you and our life together. And this baby, which we conceived in love, which is about to make some grand howling entrance in a couple of weeks. We should not be fighting, Lorenzo, especially now, especially over someone that does not matter. You haven't answered my question. Where was I? I was planning an evening for us together. So we could have some fun like we used to. I made a reservation at the cellar. I thought we could have dinner, we could go out dancing, maybe. I have papers to correct. No, you have a life. But you need to live with me. I have an appointment with Dr. Meadows first. I will meet you afterwards, okay? Confused you. Thank you. I love you. I love you too.
respectable, as always. Who'd you have a party? It's the morning, Mary. Yeah, well, I brought a few of my friends, just in case you guys... Vic, 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 get back, get back. There's no need for that, Xander. So you pulled off a uh, pretty big coup the other night. Wasting the heads of the five families. Don't you think, uh, you know, trying to mess around with Carly's club is a little juvenile? Don't sweat it. My insurance will cover any damage I choose to inflict. Because, you see, this isn't Carly's club anymore. It's mine. Thank you. Excuse me. Those for Carly? Beautiful, beautiful roses. I suppose that's the best you can do on a professor's salary. But hey, you know, <laughs> it's a thought that counts. I don't fear you, Mr. Krentos. Well, that's a miscalculation there. What kind of man are you? Counting a married woman with a baby on the way. Carly's wasted on you, but she's mine. And I intend to keep it that way. Now move aside. My wife is waiting. Now, and you're not gonna make it. with you on the brow. Me? Yeah. Why do I matter? Well, because my husband has this crazy idea that you're some sort of threat to our marriage. And that's obviously not the case. Hmm. Really? What, to Lorenzo? No, no, no. To yourself. God, you're really arrogant. Okay, then stick a pen in my ego. Cut me down to size and prove to me that uh, I have no chance with you. How? Well, I mean, um, dance with me. Unless you, unless maybe that's too close for comfort. Oh, God, no. <laughs> arrogant, you're delusional, too. Okay, fine. Fine. Are you Come, sure? Yeah, let's dance. All right, I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. <sighs> See, you have um, no effect on me whatsoever. I guess your husband's got nothing to worry about, then. Yeah. yeah. Like I told him. Just like I told you. Then I guess it wouldn't be, uh... It wouldn't be that big of a deal if, uh... I don't know, you know, like, you need me just a little bit of a kiss, you know? Do that. Well, I mean, not, not, it's just for like experimental purposes, you know, like you, you lips together, you lips apart. <laughs> I mean, it'd be over in the blink of an eye. I mean, you know, it, it, there's no threat, there's, uh, there's uh, no harm. But, you know, whatever you. I don't know, you want to or not?
you know what the problem is? <clears throat> you know all those hair products that you use? They fried your brain. Try to follow this, all right? The cellar and Kelly's are all part of the same Spencer-owned building. Carly leased the club from Bobby and Luke, so there's no way in hell you can get your hands on this place. Wrong again. It's about time. No sudden moves by anybody. You want us to search these guys? We don't have a gun. It's all good. Won't be necessary. See, Sonny has an aversion to guns ever since he shot his wife. But if he moves at all, if he sneezes, shoot to kill. Now, you try to follow. See, I've done my homework. The cellar and the rinky-dink diner above it have split deeds, you see, so Bobby never had the right to rent it to anyone. It wasn't hers in the first place. Well, see, that's a lie. Because I know for a fact that Rick did a thorough title search. So mm. what are you trying to do to me here? It wasn't thorough enough. See, this place originally belonged to my grandmother, which means that now it belongs to me. And I don't really know what you're worrying about because I hear that if Carly wakes up from her coma, she will have all the cognizance of a carrot. I know what you're trying to do. It's not going to work. Really? Yeah, yeah. You're trying to bait me into, you know, starting another cycle of violence or wars. And you know what? If you want this place that bad, you can have it. I'll just buy Carly another club. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy Kelly's from Bobby and I'm going to have it come down crashing on your big hair. <laughs> With what? The proceeds from your regular or decaf empire? All right, I'm leaving now. So if you want your men to shoot me in the back, go ahead. Come on, guys. <sighs> you got some nerve. Thanks for noticing. So Sonny's out of the business. So he says. You believe him? Yeah, I do. Being responsible for putting a bullet in his wife's brain has taken all the fight out of him. Sonny isn't a player anymore. What about Jason? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So peaceful. I could just drift it off to sleep. It doesn't surprise me that Sonny gave up his business for you. What man wouldn't do whatever it takes to have you, Carly? Did you get a hold of him? No, there's no answer. I don't, I don't understand where he could be. Wow, what, what time is it? The whole place cleared out. No one's here. Everybody's gone. Yeah, yeah, well, that's just that's because I paid the manager to close it up, you know. We got the place till the till sun comes up. And what makes you think that I want to stay here with you? Well, just, just, you know, just like an hour or two. It's not any later than it would have been if your husband had, you know, bothered to show up. But, I mean, you know what? Deed's done, you know? Why don't we just, uh, have fun, right? And whatever. And, uh, unless, you know, you're afraid. Of? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting to you a little bit. In your dreams. Then, uh, we'll... Well, what's the problem?
from? Oh, it's, it's the baby. The baby? I'm gonna go, okay, I'll call somebody. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what? No, 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 the, the baby's coming, it's coming now. What do you mean, Ralph, right here? Yeah, now? you're gonna have to help me deliver this baby. Uh. uh This isn't good. Oh, this is exactly what the doctor I don't care what the doctor wanted. I need you to get out of no, here. Carly could be having a I break need you to get out of here. Oh. Oh. You hang on. You're going to be. Yes, you can. Just push the baby. I see the baby. Just breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. There you go. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. If there's a choice that needs no. to be made between just me breathe. and the baby, you've got to choose the baby. I can't, I, can't, I don't know if I can do it. Just breathe. Come on, come on. Listen, this baby is a gift. I can see the head. It's coming out. Promise me. It's coming out. I can't do that. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. <laughs> Go, keep going. Keep going. It's right there. Now! Want to see more? slip back in. Carly's eyes opening is probably a response to something traumatic in her subconscious. Shooting. Is she in pain? She's experiencing some stress. It's probably emotional. Is she hurting? On some level. That's it, you're gone. I could still help Carly. You call that helping? Doctor says she's stressed. It means her mind is active. I was getting through to her. That's why she My opened wife's her in eyes. pain, and you're the reason. But Carly's fighting for her life. We need to work. We? Together. What do you mean, we? You kidnap my sister, you kidnap my wife, you stalker. What do you mean, you know, we? The doctor says I'm, I'm helping. I don't care what the doctors say. The only person who's going to bring Carly back is her husband. Dr. Ross. are open. I know you can hear me. I shouldn't... I don't know what I was thinking. I, I should have never let officer near you. But the doctors, you know, they said that, uh, he could help. And I was willing to do anything to bring you back. He's gone now, so I'm here. I 
my God, Lorenzo. He was hurting you. You shot him in the back. I thought he was going to die. University called. Good day. Yeah, you missed your classes today again. I have nothing left to teach. That's not true. You are great at what you do. But I cannot keep covering for you. I never asked you to. I'm leaving you, Lorenzo. was sunny. And now he's dead and you blame me. No. I love you. The man who saved me from my life. The man who danced with me at a diner and made me see that the world was beautiful. The man who took care of me and let me take care of him, but that man is gone do anything to get him back. Would you forgive me for shooting Corentos? Carly's brain activity is declining. She's getting worse? She's in a vegetative state. She could remain that way indefinitely. I'm trying like hell to get Sonny to put her in a long-term care facility. Jason, as hard as it may be, you've got to convince him that she may not recover. Talking to Corey. She can hear me, I know. I can, I can feel it. She's gonna wake up soon, Daisy. I'll go through with the divorce. You haven't left me much of a choice. It's not too late for us. You killed a man. 
I wanted to protect you. No, I don't want to fight. Okay, just let it be. I can't. I'm not even a person I've ever truly loved. You changed my life and you made me a better person. Please just give me one more chance. What good is that going to do? I pulled that trigger because I was afraid of losing you. I didn't see the consequences, but now I do. You are everything to me, Carly. You're my present, my future. You and our daughter are my entire life. If you come back to me now, I swear I will never pick up another gun. I want to believe you. Well, then let me prove it to you. I will spend the rest of my life making you happy. Please don't leave me, Carly. I will be so lost without you. So you're the father. They need to be with I can't you right abandon now. Carly. Michael understands that. Putting Carly in long-term care is not abandoning her. Okay, you can visit her any any day you want. I'm you not do doing that. Not doing it. Sit. Your kids need you. This isn't about the kids or what Carly wants. This is about you and Courtney. She, she packed her bags and left you, and now you want her back. I'm, I'm telling you this. Why are you telling me this? I'm telling you this for Carly. No, you're telling me this because you want to get me back into the old life. You want me to break the promise I made to Carly about staying away from the business. I'm not doing it. I'm going to wait right here until she wakes I mean, up. That's... We... What? We just, we just think what Carly would want, okay? What Carly... She's... What Carly would want? She wouldn't want to be afraid. She wouldn't want to be alone. I'm not going to give up. If you want to give up, get the hell out of here. But I'm not. We are the lucky ones. Yeah. Hey, what do you say we celebrate with hot fudge Sundays? Yeah, I'm going to go to college too. Nice, a ton of homework. Ew. I'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, we did good, Dad. Yeah, you could have walked away all those years ago. But you had faith in me. And I'm thankful every day of my life. You're the best thing that ever happened to me, Lorenzo. Jason's probably right. You wouldn't want me sitting here. You'd want me to be with our children. But leaving you... It just, it just makes me feel like I'm... Like I'm giving up. And I can't. It's, it's, it's okay. I've got so much going on, you know. The sock is our things. My hands are tied. Hey. Carly's your wife, Sonny. And this is totally your decision. You're right. And I have not been able to face the truth. So I think it's, uh... I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and, uh... Send Carly to a... A facility to get my kids. And get on with my life. That's what Carly would want. Hey, Sonny. These are the papers that will allow us to put Carly into a long-term care facility. All we need is your signature. Nothing else that I want to keep Farley here. She's. I'll pay whatever it costs. It has nothing to do with the money. To she... Alan, Carly stays here. I'll arrange it. I can't sign. I can't sign those papers. That's admitting. That Carly's not coming back. I can't do that. There has to be a way to reach her. You promised to spend the rest of your life making me happy. And you have. You've been a wonder. never deserved the angel he was lucky enough to marry you deserved it all three beautiful children and a lifetime of memories <laughs> I can't imagine my life without you We'll always be together. Always in our hearts. Right. I love you, Lorenzo. Forever.
Strong, stable. Her vitals are good. Is there any 
damage. It's too soon to tell. She's going to be in and out for quite a while. I mean, she's had severe trauma. But the good news is she knows who she is and where she is. But, Sonny, we have to be realistic. It's going to take quite a while. She's going to have to go very slowly. It's good to have you back. I don't... You know what? Sonny, get... Sonny, now. Please don't fight. Carly. Oh, honey. Oh, thank God you're awake. Oh, we have all been so worried about you. And I tried to keep believing that you would wake up. And I think it was our love and our faith that guided you back. once you have a chance to hold that beautiful baby boy you and Sonny waited so long for. That was not a beautiful one. I got some good news. Well, Mommy? She's awake. But who's here? As, as soon as you get packed. Hello? <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> yeah, we just heard. We just heard Jason's here. Oh God, We're coming Mommy. home. I want to talk to Mommy. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> okay. children be home. Security officer Well, that's good, because they need their mother, and Carly needs them. Look, I, I agree that, you know, Carly's disoriented right now. She needs time, but the, the miracle is she's going to have time. She's going to heal. She's going to have her family back. Strange. Yeah, I'm sure. 
When you were unconscious, you were monitored to track your progress. Note your responses to whoever's in the room. You were doing quite a bit of dreaming. You could tell. Yes. And I also noticed how you responded when I was in the room. The monitors invariably spiked. You were dreaming about us, weren't you? I just hoped it would be my love that brought you back. Today's the first time Carly's gonna hold our son. Yeah, you know, you know, maybe we should wait to take the kids. Carly just woke up. We should give her some time. Jason, to Carly us. loves her kids. She needs to see them. They need to see her. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I remember seeing Monica right after I came out of the coma. She looked, she looked sad. She looked desperate because she needed something from me, and I couldn't give it to her. I don't want that to happen. What happened with you is different. Carly remembers her life before the accident. Okay. okay. I'm just saying we need to focus on what Carly needs right yeah. now. She lost a couple weeks of her life. And she lost two weeks of Morgan's life. He needs to see his mother. He needs to hear his mother. Know, Do you understand? Let's just give another day. No! Well, another day. Michael, it's okay. I want to go see Mommy. This Mommy's awake. You gonna listen to me? Mommy cannot wait to see you and Morgan. All she needs is her family. Are you comfortable? Can I get you anything? You said that you brought me back from the coma. Let's take it slow. We'll fill in the blanks together. No, 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 no. You, sh you should go. I'm not going anywhere. No, you need to leave now. Please, please leave. I am trying to help. All I've done for weeks is break for you to wake up. The doctors thought you might have brain damage, but you'd never regain consciousness. I need to see my husband. Sonny. I am in this... this bed because you are his enemy and you were trying to hurt him. Look, I have made some mistakes that I own up to. But I believe it was my voice that brought you back. No, I came out of the coma because my brain healed. I wouldn't leave you, Carly. I talked to you for hours. I am married. I have two children. Of course, I know you love your two sons, but I'm telling you that something is different, that I can feel it. Because both Sonny and I sat here, but you responded to me. Please, if you care about me, you'll leave. I'll come back when you call. I won't. There's nothing between us. There never... There never was. No, that's not true. How's he doing? Oh, well, he'll be even better once he's with his mommy. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't had a chance to bond yet. Yeah. You've been great with him. Uh, I love this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just being around him makes me happy. And I'll be that way for Carly, too. I think he'll help her heal. Yeah. You ever sleep like mommy? Yeah, yeah, and, and sometimes when your head gets hurt, it, it takes it takes a while to feel good again. You sounded kind of funny on the phone last night. 
Well, you know how uh, on a long drive you'll fall asleep in the car? Yeah. And then you wake up and you don't know where you are or how long you've been asleep? Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's how uh, your mommy might feel today. Like she fell asleep without meaning to and she woke up confused. I know how to help, Mommy. She says that whenever she feels better, my hugs make her better. That's gonna work this time, too. Morgan. I, I know how much you like tropical flowers. You know, Sunny had them sent in overnight. Did you miss us, Mommy? We missed you. I know it felt like you were asleep for a long time, but if I hug you, you'll feel better. Hey, Michael, it's such enough, Michael. Do you want to hold my baby, Mommy? sleeping four hours at a time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but my arms, they're, they're, they're kind of weak. Oh, no, right, yeah. Okay. No, here, give it time. Yeah. Oh, is that just activity? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really tired all of a sudden. I don't, I don't know. You know, you know, you should get, you should get some rest. Hey, Michael, come on. We're gonna go home so your mommy get some. Listen, I, um, I want you to stay, too. Okay, but, um, mommy needs to get strong and work at getting strong again, okay? But I love, I love your card. Thank you. Mike, come on. Mommy's got us, she'll get us with the doctor soon anyway, okay? Can I get that hug, though? You and I are gonna love. 
love each other for the rest of our life. We're going to see our grandkids have kids. I can do that. As long as I have you. been through so much I know I told her I was getting out of the business I guess I was just reassuring her maybe it will she didn't really say much I guess she she just uh, doesn't believe that I'm gonna do it Exonia I'm not sure Carly knows what to feel. I mean, you know, she wasn't just tired. It's, it seemed like she was just going through the motions, saying what she thinks we need to hear. Jason. Yours is different. Carly remembers. There, there's more to remembering than knowing who somebody is. Part of memory is, is how you feel. And I'm not sure Carly does right now. She knows the kids. Whatever's wrong with her is minor. And she's gonna heal. Brain damage isn't like breaking your arm. There's some things you lose never come back. Wow, well, you got here fast. I assumed it was important. I'm just... I'm trying to sort out what was real and, and what was part of the dream. Well, I can see why you'd be confused. In it. Now I'm really here. You know why I left the quarter mains. You didn't remember that. That's not what happened. No, the card is different. I couldn't remember the quarter mains, Sonny. After a while, I couldn't stand disappointing them. I mean, to this day, every time Alan sees me, I don't know if you notice this, but he, he's got this look, you know, begging and waiting, waiting for me to remember how I felt about him. I can't. I can't give Alan what he wants. The feelings aren't there. You think I'm I'm begging no. Carly? What what is it you're trying to say here? Just try not to expect a lot. The point is Carly can't give what she doesn't have. What do you want from me? I shot my wife. Doesn't make me this, feel This isn't about blame. Well, what is it about? You want me to you want me to give up hope? You want me to break the promise I made to Carly? What do you, what do you, I don't want, what is it you're trying to tell me? If we pressure Carly too much right now, we could scare her away. 
You're at my new house in the rain, and you were going to help deliver my baby. Yeah, you asked me to take him to the hospital if he had trouble breathing. I, I didn't trust you. Look, I had no choice. I don't. I don't get this. I don't understand. You are not the. I'm not what, Carly? I'm trying to remember? No, I'm trying to forget. You're trying to forget me? Look, I didn't hurt you. I was trying to live your baby when Sonny shot me in the back. He thought you were attacking me. You're right. It was a terrible accident. You paid the price. Carly, I owe you an apology. I showed up by myself. Hoping to rescue you. Instead of calling for help. Don't, don't do this. Don't, don't be like you. Don't pretend you care. Don't act I like do you care. do. No, you, you know what? It's not real. Do you remember what I said to you when you were trying to deliver the baby? I told you I love you, Carly. So, you're the expert. Tell me how I'm supposed to help my wife without making her afraid of me. It's not what I meant. Well, it's not, maybe that's the problem. You don't know what you mean. You're too close to this. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I know you were a lot worse off than Carly is. You were, you were a smart kid, you were capable, but there were a lot of things you didn't know. Like when people would tell you a joke, people would tell you a sad story, I would, I would watch you. You were frustrated. You could not understand what was going on. You wanted to put your fist through a wall. That's how mad you were. Uh, you're right. You're right. Just try, you know, just try not to push her too hard. That's all I'm saying. We have to let Carly get better in our own time. All right. I want to. I'm going to go pay her a visit. Maybe you should spend some time with her. You know. Maybe help you out a little bit. Mm. Well, a lot of these. Yeah, I know. Mm. You're not going to teach Morgan how to eat that junk, are you? I, I don't know. I didn't think about it. What happened? What do you mean? Oh, I mean, you just, you just got, got sad all of a sudden. I guess I 
these things are just all... I'm still all out of the place. Right to be some, you know, considering I'm the one who shot you in the head. Sonny, don't, don't say it like that. You know what? No matter how I say it, it doesn't change what I did. Listen, I don't want you to feel guilty. Okay, I don't, I don't want... Listen, I want to say the right things. Okay, I want to make this better. I... But everything is so jumbled up in my head right now, I, I can't help you. I don't even know how to help myself right now. You're not, you're not supposed to help me out with this, Carly. I'm supposed to help you. I don't want to, I don't want to give you back the life that we had. I want, I want to give you something better. Any house you want, any school for the kids, you and the boys are the center of my life. Not the business. I am out. I'm out of the business. I told you that. Sonny, you don't have to give up anything for me. I'm not giving up. I just, I don't, I want to, I want to be able to sleep at night. I, I, I don't want there to be a reason to have a gun. I don't want there to be a reason to fire it. I want to know absolutely that you are safe with me. And no more guards. Mm. I'm going to take you dancing any, anytime you want. Dancing. Remember that night? Remember that night you, you closed the club and I had you in my arms. That's all I want now. Just us. Together. That's all that matters. some candies. She liked it. It's good. I don't know how she can eat that junk. But, uh, she smiled for the first time without thinking, you know. You know, her face lights up when she smiles. I did what she told me. I watched her. Hoping that her smile would last. And begging it to last. Told her that uh, that I'm you know I'm, gonna, I'm getting out of the business. Told her that I'll do whatever I have to do to help her heal, buy her house, whatever it takes to keep her safe. Dr. John Lewis, Dr. John Lewis. Oh, sorry. She liked the candy better. Oh, you know that you know the candy's real. She doesn't have to think about it or remember anything. It's just right there and, and in front of her. And, and it tastes good <laughs> to Carly. Right. Anyway. So what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing waiting here? I thought you were going to visit. Uh, I, always, I, I always felt trapped when people came to see me. You know, there's people in the room standing around smiling, trying to say something that mattered. And all I wanted was to get out of their room, get out of this hospital. Go where no one knew me, no one wanted anything from me. And, and you're right, Carly, you know, she's different. Different to me, but she's still stuck in that room, and I don't want to be the person who makes her feel trapped. I don't want to be that person either. So Morgan went right to sleep. He is so good, Carly. I mean, he barely ever fusses. And Michael, he's decided to make you new cards, so be prepared when he comes to visit. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's, um, it, it's, it's darling. Look, you look really tired. Um, Jason was going to come to visit, but I'm just going to tell him that you need to no, no, stay, stay, please. Please talk to me. I don't want to sleep anymore. I, I don't want to dream anymore. Hey, what, what do you mean? What, what kind of dreams? Well, I was in the coma. I dreamt that I, I, I was married to Lorenzo Alcazar. He wasn't a criminal. He was... He was a history professor. He was kind and he was funny and... Carly, it was just a dream, okay? It'll fade. Yeah, but it's not. I keep, I keep having these these flashes, and I'm laughing with him, and, and I'm kissing him, and... It's, it's like this wall. This wall between me and Sunny. But it's not real. Carly, Lorenzo Alcazar is not a good, funny history professor. He's a drug lord. I, I know. I know this. Okay, in my head, I know it. It's just the same, like, I know I'm supposed to love Sonny, but what I feel, it is completely different. condition. Dr. Lewis, right? Psychiatrist? I uh, examined her and ran some preliminary tests, and I'm concerned with the results. Did, some discrepancy. Did my wife ask to see you? Because I didn't authorize an, any exam. It's standard procedure. I don't want to hear about your standard procedure. My wife doesn't need a shrink or any treatment you're providing. She's making a full recovery, and that's the end I want to talk about. No, she isn't. View a standard procedure in head injury cases, it could result in brain damage. Carly's not brain damaged. She's, she's alert. She remembers her life. I agree that her initial test results are encouraging, but that doesn't mean that she's unimpaired. A bullet was lodged in Carly's brain, causing sufficient damage to put her in coma for weeks. Now, her memory is intact, but that doesn't mean that there may be other brain functions impaired. Carly could experience a personality change or shift. She could become angry or volatile. Alternatively, she could lose emotional connections. Okay, you know what? Can you say this in English, Dr. Lewis? Carly could remember the people she loves, but not be able to actually experience the feeling. It is like I am I'm outside of myself, and I'm just observing. I know. I know how things are supposed to be, but... Okay, it's like you, for example, and please, please don't take this the wrong way or take it's it personally. Okay. I... It's okay. Tell me, I want to understand. I know that you are my best friend. I know that I could trust you with anything. Something's missing. It's like, it's like that bond and it's a sense of warmth. It's the same way with the children. The baby, he's beautiful. And Michael, he is so sweet and he is so brave. And my heart, it should just fill up every time he comes into the room, every time I see them, every time I touch them. But to me, it's like I'm looking at someone else's family. It's just like this picture. And it's the same way that I feel about Sonny. Carly. You had a brain injury, okay? This is the result. And yes, it's scary, but it will pass. I'm not so sure. Think about Jason. You know, I, I didn't know him when he had the accident, but I heard enough to know that he seemed totally un unfeeling. 
okay. What he needed was time to learn to love again. That's what you need, too. No, Jason couldn't feel. I can. I just feel for the wrong person. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the dreams from the coma. Maybe my dream life is stronger than my own. Because the only one I have feelings for is Lorenzo. My wife has managed to get this far without the help of doctors. As a matter of fact, it was doctors who gave up on her in the first place, wanted to send her to a care facility, write her off as a vegetable. So the fact that another doctor is standing here telling me that my wife is damaged has no relevance to me. Beyond the fact that I don't want you going anywhere near my wife with your tests or negativity. I hate to sound like a shrink, but you're exhibiting classic signs of deep denial brought on by overwhelming guilt. Here we go. You shot your wife, Sonny. And I know it's unbearable for you to think that you might have done her lasting harm. So you're going to ignore the truth, try to control the situation, and by sheer force of will, push Carly into a full recovery. No other outcome is acceptable to you. Well, that might work in your professional life, Sonny, but it's not going to do your wife any good. In fact, it might even do her more harm. I remember loving Sonny. I remember all of it. The, the, the good, the bad, the joy, the tears. But the remembering is all in my head. It isn't in my heart anymore. I can't feel any of it. That must be terrifying. You know what makes it worse? Is that every time I see Alcazar, every time I see Lorenzo, I do. I am reassured by his voice. And I know that this is wrong. I know that he is my husband's enemy. I, I know that he tried to destroy my marriage. And if I should feel anything for him, it should be hatred. You need to tell Sonny. Oh, no. Not necessarily about Alcazar, but you need to let him know that you are having trouble connecting. I tried that, and he cannot hear it. Okay, so then you keep telling him until he does hear it. <sighs> Look, I think... Sonny feels so guilty about shooting you. He, his mind, it just, it's not ready to go to the consequences yet. Yet or ever. Courtney, what if he loses it again? I can't help him. I can't help myself. What are you thinking, Carly? I just, I have to just go through the motions. I'm going to go through the motions. I'm going to act like I love him until the feelings really come back. I don't see how that could work. Look, the way I feel about Lorenzo, it shows that I'm capable of love. So all I need to do is I just need to, I need to retrain myself and then I can love the right people. What are you saying, Carly? Do you love Alcazar? Everything is perfect. Now that my husband is back, come here, you. I, I didn't know they let Dr. Lewis in to see you. I, I never consented to a psychiatric exam. It wasn't a big deal. Did he upset you? No, not at all. What did he do? He just, he asked me a few questions, did some word association. I don't know. I mean, it didn't seem all that. I don't know if that had much point, but it wasn't stressful. Mm -hmm. Why did, did Dr. Lewis say something? Um, nothing, nothing, you know, made sense to me, you know. The only thing that matters is that you're, you're awake and you can, you're getting stronger every day and you're gonna, you're gonna be home soon. Yeah, I want that. I want it so much, I want to... I want to be home. I want to be with my family. I want to be surrounded by familiar things. Listen. I want to help you. All right? But I, I can't understand what you're going through or what you're feeling. Unless you tell me. Like, you know, what, what's going through your mind right now? An 
over and over again that we can get through anything. You just gotta tell me what's going on and we'll figure it out. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Thanks for the hug. Um. Hi, hi, how you doing? Good. When can you come home? Well, soon, buddy. She, but you guys, hey, you know, you and Morgan can come visit anytime you want. Yeah, yeah, hey, you know what? Can, can you do something for me? Sure. Um, I want you to go to the park. I want you to get on the swings, and I want you to swing just as high as you can. Right now? Yes, right now. Why? Because it's, it's a beautiful day out. Because the, the sun's been shining, and you shouldn't be in... This old hospital, dreary hospital room, you should be outside having a good time. What about Morgan? Well, you can go. <laughs> oh, I mean, don't you want to hold him? Uh, yeah, um, um, you know what? Michael, Morgan is so comfy in my arms. All he needs from Carly is a big kiss. Hey, yeah. Hey, you be good. You be good, Morgan. Yeah, no problem. Okay, bye. Got it? Got it? Yeah. Wow. There's something, huh? Yeah. So are you. Uh, it's amazing seeing you, the children, hmm. knowing, you know, we came to been very religious and it's even harder for me now to have faith because I don't feel connected to anyone not even you I'm not asking you I'm not asking you to make all those feelings come back I, I realize that I may have to do that on my own somehow <laughs> but I was just wondering, I was wondering if uh, maybe you could help me <laughs> until that happens, help me fake it. Don't let me hurt my kids, okay, or Sonny. Please just protect them from how empty I am inside, from how, how alone and, and how scared I am. Just remind me how to love them, okay? <laughs> to hurt me or somebody I care about. You know that, right? Well, I'm more interested in a truce anyway. Well, uh, don't talk to me about that. Talk to Jason, because I'm out of it. All right. You know what? Nobody leaves this life, Sonny. Not even you. Watch me. Okay. 
That's supposed to mean something to me. Not yet. But I think we can do business. I've had plenty of experience with navigation and transport. Really? Yeah. What's more is I've, I've recently come into possession of a really beautiful yacht. And with minimal modifications, it could be used for anything you don't want coming through regular channels. What do you think? You know what I think? I'll tell, I'll tell you what I think. I think so, someone uh, out of our fate, um, D. Baldwin, maybe even the feds are so incredibly transparent and stupid. Or maybe they think I'm so wrecked over what happened to my wife that I can't see a setup that's right in front of me. Hey, I'm not trying to set you up. Yeah, I know you're not, because I'm not buying what you're selling. You want more from me than just a job. Right? No? Okay, yes? yeah, yeah, that much okay, is let true, let but explain, I can... Let me, let me explain something to you. Someone who doesn't like me very well hires a pretty petite brunette to approach me. The closest thing to my old girlfriend without sending a plane to London. Why? Same tired story. To get incriminating evidence on me. Well, where I, is it? I have no, where, no, 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 no. Idea no. what you're talking yes, about. Yes, where is it? Where is what? Where is it? What? In your pocket, right here, back here. Nothing. No, I have nothing on me. Nothing. Sorry, I just got a lot uh, going on. Well, it didn't go too well, did it? <laughs> please, please, just go. You need to leave me. No, 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 you were crying. You're in obvious pain. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Don't you realize you're making this much harder for me? You are my enemy, and I know that. You tried to break up my marriage. You tried to destroy my happiness. I should hate you, but... I... But what? I can't. I can't feel anything that I am supposed to. Forget about the way you're supposed to feel and follow what's true to your heart. You were dreaming. You responded to my voice. That's leading you one place. I am not your enemy, Carmen. I love you. And some part of you loves me back. drugs into the city and wants to use my freighter to do so. You turned her down. Yeah, yeah well, I, I thought of it more as, you know, calling her bluff. I mean, the woman wants me to cooperate. She doesn't want me dead. But Emily claims that, that Faith is crazy enough to kill me just to prove a point. She's right. Well, I, I thought, I thought Sonny could, could intervene. Jason's handling business. Um, I got more important things to take care of. Hey. You okay? You sounded upset on the phone. Yeah. Um, I need you to help me learn to love Sonny again. I'll let you two discuss this. How's <sighs> Carly? Uh, she's, uh, she's getting stronger. Every day. Hey, I'm sorry. I should have called before I no, came. No, no, it's not a problem. Yeah. As far as uh, as far as Faith, she's she's being handled. She lost a major shipment last night. The whole thing was torched. By you. You know what? If Faith can't do business, eventually she'll be removed, and Faith is going to do no business at all. She must have lost millions. Yeah. You know what? If uh, if Faith threatens you or someone she works with threatens you again, just let me know. Okay. Okay. And that, uh, that includes Xander. Mm -hmm. 
Xander has a personal grudge okay. against me. I don't, as, I don't as, expect As you. long as Xander is threatening you on Faith Roscoe's orders, it's business. You and Sonny are so connected that, I mean, even watching it from the outside, it's pretty incredible. You know, well, that's how I feel right now, like I am watching my life from the outside. I can see all of it. I can see it. I just can't feel it. And I need you to help me get that feeling back. How? I, I don't know. Um, d describe to me how, how I was. When I was happy with Sunny, when, when I was angry, when I was hurt. Because then maybe I will feel it all again. Okay. Um, do you remember my wedding rehearsal? You know, the one at Queen, Queen of Angels? Yeah, right. Well, Sonny was missing, and I wanted to cancel. But you just kept telling me that he was going to be okay. Carly, I remember the moment when you saw Sonny in that church. You ran right into his arms. You held on so tight to him. I didn't think that you were ever going to let go. You told me not to run. And I, I, I couldn't help myself. There was France when Jason and I got married. Mm -hmm. Sonny, he, he made a toast. He talked about love and commitment. The hardest part about marriage is its greatest reward, and that's becoming one with another person. And that bond never goes away, whether you're together or not. But what Sonny was really talking about was his love with you. Yeah, and I went after him, and, and we flew home together. Hey, you have never let Sonny push you away. You fight for your marriage. Got babies for It's in here, and you need to be here for it. I need to know that we spoke this time. Session's confidential. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble feeling the things that I'm supposed to. Uh, I, I can remember my life before the accident. I just, I, I, can't, I can't reach those feelings for, for those events or those people. God, it's, it's really, it's really difficult to explain. Of course it is. Carly, you, know, you had a bullet lodged in your brain. You're still healing. You have to give yourself time to recover. So is the damage permanent? We don't have to wait and see. If you uh, continue to heal, you may be able to regain access to those emotions. But if the area in your brain where they were stored is irreparably damaged, it's possible you may never recover those emotions. Okay, no, 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 I have to. I have to love my husband. I have to love my children. What are you feeling now? I, I'm frustrated. I am, I'm confused and I'm scared. 
Can you connect to anything you felt before you woke up? When I was in the coma, I had these dreams that were so vivid. They were, they were so intense, those feelings. Can you access those feelings now? It's the only ones that I have left. Oh, it's, it is like my, my conscious life is, 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 is this fantasy and my dream. My dreams, those, those are what's real. What were the dreams about? I dreamt that um, I loved another man and I was married to someone other than Sonny. I loved him so completely and now I don't know how to stop. Carly's okay, um, Sonny's upstairs with the kids. I'll call you. Say she's getting stronger. She saying to me. Well, it's it's still difficult for her to deal with what happened and the time she lost, but she really wants to get better. I just I don't think that she should push it. Yeah, yeah. I'm clear on that. All we can do for Carly is show her how much we love her and want her to come home. She'll handle the rest. She's got this unbelievable strength, and she doesn't break. And I, I just, I gotta believe she's gonna come back from this. Um, who is it? Jason. Come in. Do you know that you're the only one who? actually knocks. I mean, other people, they knock, but they're already in the door <laughs> by the time I get to answer. You know, I always, um, I always thought the second worst part about being in a hospital was, you know, the people just show up to see you. The second worst? Yeah, the worst for me, anyway, was that, you know, the windows don't open. how I feel. If you want to tell me, you will. If you don't, I, you know, I don't want to put you in the position where you got to make something up. How'd you know that's what I've been doing? It's what I did. I, I know that uh, our injuries aren't the same. I mean, you're, you're healing. There's, there's, there's so much that you can get back. But it's so confusing, Jace. It's like, um... I don't even know my own friends and my own family. I mean... It's not like you're strangers, you know, but, um... Somehow, I'm just, I'm not connected. I understand that. Um, when you woke up from your accident, you tried to get the feelings back, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Me, Alan, and Monica would just you know, they talk to me and they tell me about places that we've been. Some Christmas morning when I was a kid. Didn't mean anything. You know, I feel like it was someone else's life. You see, but that's, that's the difference here. Okay, because I do, I do remember Christmas. With Michael and with Sonny, I just... I just can't feel it. 
Charlie, you can't, you can't force yourself to feel again. Yeah, but I want to hurry it along. I do, I do, and it's, it's... You know, this isn't, this isn't like you. It's completely different. I am not having to get my whole life over again. I just... It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me the way I was, because you know what? It just, it just has to. <laughs> the last person I expected to love. I know you guys uh, didn't like each other. No. We, we, we hated each other for a lot of good reasons. So what changed? What changed? I don't even know. But she's my life. Sonny's the key if I keep thinking about him. Then, it, then it'll all come back. I was getting to the point in my life where, you know, I was starting to feel comfortable being alone, and being with somebody else was a a risk I didn't want to take. And then Carly blew into my world, and now I uh, I can't live without her. I need you. But I just need you to remind me how I felt with Sonny, how how I was, how I reacted Crying to Sonny's him. Sonny's gonna know that you're faking a connection. He and Michael can already tell us something's wrong. But I don't want to hurt them. Well, then you can't lie. I, I love Carly, but sometimes I'm selfish. I don't I don't give a lot in return. You love her. Yeah, I, in my way. But sometimes I'm angry. I'm not fair. And sometimes living in my life can wear you, wear you down. A woman swears she loves me and then she can't take it anymore. They, they go run into the exit. Easy answers. All you can do is be honest. And break my family's hearts. Just just be who you are right now. And let things happen naturally. But what I feel is who I am. And I don't want to feel isolated and confused. Oh, I just I just want to fill me up again and I just want to be who I used to be. Hey. Hey. You up for another visit? Sure. I got some good news. Um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I mean, I, that's up to you to decide, but uh, the doctor said that uh, he can come home tomorrow. Really? I know you, you, you know, it's been hard since you woke up and that, you know, you haven't really healed completely. No, but I will. Right, but, you, you know, I don't know, I just think it's good for you to come home, you know, to the family who loves you and what's familiar and you, in your own space. Yeah. I just, I know that I still need a lot of rest. Is Michael going to be okay? Yeah, Michael, Michael, all he cares about is, is his mother, you know, he just wants to see his mommy. He doesn't care if you, if you can't play with him yet. I just, I just don't want to disappoint him. Or you. I just, I just want to take you home, you know. Take care of you. Hold you. Michael, come down here. I got some news about mommy. Kylie, okay? Something happened to mommy? Guess what? What? Mommy's coming home tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Carento's been 
can take it for Tess. Nothing was scheduled. She's being released tomorrow. Does Carly know? Mr. Corinthos told her earlier. Taking Carly? asking me if I took my own wife? I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> Carly's desperate and you know it. You're doing anything. <laughs> Get out. Carly's gone. For how long? I'm not sure. Put a tail on Alcazar. Okay. Wait, if, if, Alcazar, if Alcazar took her, why would he be here? Because he's a stalker. That's why. Had Max follow him. Right. He'll lead us to her. You know him. what? Carly could have left on her own. Is that... So she, she walks away from the hospital and she knows she's going to come home tomorrow? Maybe, maybe she just needed some time. Do you think that mommy will like this? I am positive. Do you think that mommy will be happy to see me? Oh, your mommy has the best little boy and most beautiful baby in the whole wide world. I wish he was like you, too. Well, I live just right across the hall. I mean, he was us all the time. Oh, why don't you give me a hand with your little brother? Sure. Okay. He may have kidnapped her. I don't know. Carly would not leave. She's well, gone. See you later. What do you mean? She signed the release papers. She left the hospital. Well, who authorized that? Alan Quartermain? No, no, they already Ta signed off on that case. She told the nurses that you were waiting downstairs for her. And nobody went down there with her the, in the shape she's in? She lied and they believed her. So now she's wandering around by... Sonny, Come on. Okay. I know she shouldn't have left, but you know what? Carly needs to deal with this in her own way. No, her family is going to help her deal with this. That's, when, when that's her own the way. Hospital, the quarter means expected me to pick up my life right where I left it off. I don't want that kind of life for Carly. She's under a lot of pressure. I, I'm getting out of business. I'm giving her the kind of life she wants. I, yes, I know, but she's afraid she's going to let everybody She down. told me she wanted to leave the hospital. She told me herself. Well, you know, she might be saying what she want to hear. How many times have I got to tell you? She remembers her life, I, Jason. I know she does, but she can't feel it. Yes, she can. She's going home right now. That's why she left early. She's there right now. I guarantee you that.
this, and uh, I want to do it properly, so. so <laughs> Caroline Lee Benson, will you marry me? Really? Is that a yes? <laughs> a million times over, yes. <laughs> Did you not go to Alcazar to meet with him? Did you not meet with him last week? Put your mouth on his mouth to save his life? Huh? I don't know. Did you do that? No. You didn't do it? Stop it, Sonny. Leave Mommy alone. It's I won't let right. you hurt her. I'm not going to let you hurt Mommy. Searching everywhere. I know that Carly's all right. No, she, nothing's gonna be all right until she comes back here. Just give Carly a little time. I'm going it's to go out right now. Stay, for you stay myself, here, you're gonna give her the chance to, to come back to you when well, she's she ready. she never comes back. The woman I married, the way it used to be, I can't reach her. She smiles, she says the right things, but I know she's not all there. I don't know how to help her, Jason. Oh, no, mommy be here. As soon as she can. That's what you always say. But she's always, she always comes home, right, buddy? I huh? guess. Yeah? You did, you did a fantastic job decorating the whole place. It looks great. You think she'll like it? She's not gonna like it. She's gonna love it. Oh, Morgan's trying to lift his head. And Courtney told me to tell you that. Okay. You want to go help her? Yeah. All right, come on. Teach you to keep an eye on him in case he had another nightmare. Thank you. Well, I'll um, give Morgan his last bottle and then I'll get out of your way. No, I'll feed him. Oh, well, you might go to sleep faster if I do it. Courtney, he, he's my son. I think I can feed him and put him to sleep. Sonny, you're worried. It, I'll probably pick up on the tension. What tension? Come on, Sonny, you're a wreck. No, see, I don't want, you know, a house full of people when... when... Hey, 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 Courtney, we'll just... No, we need to give Sonny and Carly some room. Carly's gonna be... She's gonna be back. This is her home.
Okay, Jim. Daddy's here. Mommy's on her way. I mean, she gets here. We're gonna be one big, happy family. Roscoe's here to see you. Well, isn't this a picture? Is Carly home? Why are you here? I'm in this business, whether you like it or not. I made a serious move against Nicholas Cassidyne tonight, and I need to know that Jason won't retaliate. I already told you. I'm out of the business. You're still in charge. You always will be. Now, it's too bad you shot your wife. But you'll have to find a way to deal with that. Nobody leaves this business, Sonny. Not even you. This war. What are you doing here? You did this. How did you find someone that looked exactly like Lily? Plastic huh? surgery. Oh my God. I tried to tell your husband I should have. I am so sorry. You sick bastard. Oh my 
my God, I hope you both burn in hell. You wanted to ruin Sonny's life. Sonny will never sure love you the way I do. Uh, you almost killed me and my baby. I never meant for Sonny to hurt you. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? What, what, what part of driving Sonny crazy was supposed to help me? You knew that Lily was his most vulnerable because... <laughs> because I told you. And you used it against him for what? So, so, so my husband would leave me? So you would have a chance? I wanted to be with you. You wanted to steal my husband's life and instead you stole mine. No, no, I didn't cause that to happen. You stole my soul. You stole my heart. I don't feel or remember what I am supposed to. My children are strangers to me and Sonny is... I'm dead on the inside because of you. Sonny shot me in the back. His bullet did this. He hurt you. No, you are a monster. You, you're worse than your brother. And you know those dreams that I had? They mean nothing to me. You mean nothing to me. I am going home to my family. Come to your lips. Don't you dare touch me. take Morgan across the hall for the night. Why would I do that? He might sleep better. Um, can you go ahead and... Yes. Here, I got yeah. Just, I'm gonna be upstairs to kiss the boys tonight. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget Michael's nightlight. I guess, um, all we can do now is wait. I just can't seem to help myself with you. Dangerous. I'll do whatever it takes to get rid of him. Let me do what I gotta do. Seductive. Oh. That's what I He's Sonny Delicious. You go back to doing it my way. Celebrate 10 years of General Hospital Sonny with 12 of his best episodes. It all starts at 11 the day after Thanksgiving.